I'm Tony Sklar with BNET TV. We are here at the Broadband World Forum in Amsterdam for 2012. I am speaking with Dunes, Mr. Christopher Saitara. How are you today, sir? I'm very well, thank you, Tony. Great conference, great city. It's a great city indeed. Yeah, very international and perfect for a technology conference like this. So let's talk about where Dune fits within this vast ecosystem of the Broadband World Forum. Sure, so Dune has excellent um, boxes which are ideal for IPTV and OTT content delivery and they can be customized for operator requirements depending on the content and the services that the operator has. So the look and feel can come up however the operator wants it to look. So my standard question generally is what makes you better than your competitors in the market space? There aren't a lot of competitors in your space, but there are some. What makes yours a better fit? Okay, I think fast mover and top class software engineering capability. There's a lot of box shifters, you know, from Asia especially, who can make high quality electronics, but they don't have the software capability that we have, and many of them have no software capability at all. So what makes Dune different is, although we do the hardware design and the manufacturing in Asia, in our headquarters in Taiwan, uh, the software engineering, which is the bulk of the work in a box these days, is done in uh, Russia and Ukraine. So good labor cost for sure, and very smart, smart development. You said it better than I could, yes, absolutely. We've got top PhDs as software developers, um, but without the high cost that you would have in Western Europe or the USA. So uh, that gives us a huge competitive advantage. Not only that, the engineering teams are all in-house. So it's a lot better than outsourcing to a team in India, say. You know, so it gives us a, a big advantage. OK, so what are you doing here at Broadband World Forum? So we're showing our range of uh, IP set-top boxes. The 101, which is a best-selling model, which is already used, used by operators throughout the world. Kartina is a good example, which is a Russian TV channel and they use it for Russian expats around the world. We're showing the, uh, the HD Connect, which is the same kind of functionality in an HDMI stick form factor. So it can be hidden behind the TV and be completely unobtrusive. Ideal for hospitality TV applications. And we're also showing hybrid boxes, which can combine IP content delivery with broadcast, cable or terrestrial. So I guess, uh, you know, my next segue is going to be, why is it, why, why is it, Christopher, that every other country seems to have better connectivity through their set-top boxes than North America? <laughs> well, I'm not an expert in North America, being based in the UK, so I'd, I'd hate to uh, <laughs> criticize our American colleagues. In, in fact, the UK isn't great for broadband access either. It's not necessarily the broadband access, I mean, although that's a whole different panel discussion altogether. It's the idea of having a connected TV, mm -hmm. and, and I think that that's really important because without going and buying a brand new deck, which, is, uh, which you, know, you, you can do, the service providers aren't coming to market fast enough with some of the great uh, uh, set-top box that are out there from, you know, let's say Dune, right? I mean, you guys have a great product. How do we get it into the pipeline faster? Yeah, it's a good question. And I think there are a number of factors uh, that play to this. And I think maybe the sophistication of the US um, user? user is greater, the awareness of the internet and use of the internet. Of course, the, the PC market developed first in the USA. So that may be one factor. So they're more open to new technologies like connected TVs, which play to that strength. Maybe another reason is the content situation. You know, in, in the US, the cable companies are very powerful and uh, they have a stranglehold on the best content and you have to pay quite high subscriptions. So people may be quite keen to look at other ways to get that content, which doesn't involve paying that cable subscription. Whereas in European countries, UK, good example, you have very high quality content free over the air. There's maybe less drive, you know, to experiment with these new ways of getting the content, but I, I think it will catch up with North America. Well, there's no question that I think that there's been vast movements within the connected box market, mm. and there's so many great OTT services that are available uh, through that type of play, mm. and you know, and being at IFA, being at IBC, and of course, you know, the numerous amounts of other conferences, speaking with uh, executives like yourselves, we're seeing so much adaptation, but we're still in sort of that early mover status. Yes, I think you're right. We're definitely early mover status. Um, I like to compare it to the mobile market where I 
was working before in GSM and 3G, where it, which 10 years ago was very fragmented. If you wanted to have a game on a mobile phone, you had to support 25 versions of Java, you know, and there was no standard platform, no standard operating system. Now, there are two in mobile. There's Apple and there's Android. And now you can have a team of four guys and have a whole portfolio of games. Now, in a TV space, the set-top box space, that doesn't exist yet. There isn't a standard platform. You know, a lot of fragmentation and hence a lot of players. You know, a lot of middleware providers, a lot of different box providers, a lot of OS providers. Big companies like Apple and Google have tried, not succeeded yet, to make a standard. So I think we're going to see a lot of change over the next few years before it consolidates. So I'm glad you said that. Is there, is there you know, is there a forum that uh, you get together at to talk about some ubiquitous standards? And if so, or, or basically, what are some changes you think are going to happen during 2013? Well, the, the only forum I know of are these kind of shows at the moment, and, and the seminars that you get at these kind of shows, and they're good. And uh, but I think no one's really agreed. You know, if you listen to what people say at them, um, what do I think will happen? Well, if only I had a crystal ball. I think it will go the same way as computers where Windows and Apple won out and mobile where Google and Apple won out there will be a standard I don't know what it will be I think the key to it will be whoever solves the user interface you know because it's when Apple came out with the iPhone and came up with a user interface that was suitable to access the internet through a phone without a keypad with apps instead that's when it really took off and the standard platform really became established a TV remote control is a really lousy way of accessing the internet and accessing you know content of, of all kinds it's really poor it was designed for linear tv and i think when someone comes up with something much better than a tv remote control kind of interface that's when we'll start to see a clearer picture on the standard so christopher what gives stune its competitive advantage then as things change i think fast moving very fast moving with top class software um, engineering and uh, you know, a very incisive ceo who uh, is you know, in very good control of, of the company and can make it move very fast. Um, I think, uh, you know, very stable software base as well, you know, so. So then, why, uh, also, my last question here, Christopher, why is it important to be uh, at Broadband World Forum? Why is it important to stay engaged? I think it's important to stay engaged with the infrastructure world. You know, although Dune is at the other end, the, the customer premises end, um, it's very important to be in touch with everyone who's delivering the infrastructure and managing it and uh, that's where operators come in and operators are our key customer now it's the operators who control to a large extent the content and its delivery and we must be in tune with what they need well you're well positioned within a very vast growing market space that is going to move quite quickly for sure it was a pleasure to speak with you and i hope we get a chance for an update again in the future thank you very much with Mr. Christopher Saitera of Dune here at the Broadband World Forum in Amsterdam for 2012. And I am Tony Sklar with BNET TV.